New at 10 tonight, the 13th consecutive year now that Chico State is hosting an educational conference on alcohol and drugs. The aim, of course, is to get students to think twice about their use of both, but it does provide a chance for other universities to share programs that they've used. And who knows, it might just work here. KRCR News Channel 7's Tyler May is live in Chico tonight with more. Hey, Tyler. Well, Mark, there were, there were groups from all 23 Cal State schools at this conference, and even some schools were even from out of town, actually out of state, I should say. But for the Chico State students that I spoke with today, they say that this conference couldn't have come at a better time kind of issue that you'd see with people that you see of my age group that are partying or doing going to the cars and such but I mean I think we have just as big of an issue as any other school would have. Chico State student Cody Franks believes this conference is exactly what the university needs. A clear understanding of how dangerous excessive drinking and drugs can be. This kind of helps us learn more about the issues going on in the state of California and we have schools from outside of the state so kind of find out what different universities are doing to work with the issues that they have on their campus with alcohol and drugs too. Beyond that, the Alcohol and Other Drugs Educational Conference also brings together ideas from universities facing issues similar to those at Chico State. What's happening on their campuses? What things are working? What things aren't working? What are the best practices, promising practices, that we can use to help educate students about high-risk drinking and drug use? Topics include how to recognize the symptoms of alcohol poisoning, the recreational use of marijuana, and how to tell a friend they have a problem. For students to help each other other students, you know, to be mentors to other students and to watch out for them and don't let them get in these risky situations. The university itself agrees. This conference comes at a right time, taking on the added meaning after the death of five students last semester. They're doing shots, they're pre-gaming, and this is where we run into the problems of students dying. As for Cody Frakes, he hopes a focused effort to reduce problem drinking and drug use will help change the image of Chico State being a little more than a party school. If anything, this is only going to help the situation, making it a lot better for the community and the university. Now, the top, now, this conference will be in full swing tomorrow morning. Now, the topics for tomorrow's schedule include a sexual assault prevention, mental health, and first aid, and many more topics for tomorrow at Chico State. Reporting live in Chico tonight, Tyler May, KRCR News Channel 7. All right, thanks for that report, Tyler. Well, we should, uh, should be looking at some pretty nice weather.